Hello everybody, hopefully you're having a wonderful, fantabulous, and mystical day. Over in the mystical side of life, um, we're going to be doing some, uh, some painting. But um, before we get into that, I want to introduce myself. My name is Emmanuel Aguilar, aka Mystic Fox 4. And uh, today you guys are going to be watching a, a time lapse and uh, listening to me talk a little bit. So um, I've been doing a bunch of D&D things here and there, as uh, you guys can see on the screen. And uh, I wanted to share some of the uh, other D&D things that I've been doing because I've been having a lot of fun with them. Um, it might be a little difficult because I'm using the uh, actual tablet with one screen, but I think I managed to pull it off. So uh, as they open up on the screen, I'll do a little introduction of the uh, actual characters that I'm, I'm showing you guys. So this is a wanted poster that I created for the, the characters Mr. Snuggles and Dr. Keeter Muggins. Now, uh, backstory on who these people are so dr keeter muggins is actually a uh, high class wizard that uh was tasked with creating a uh, potion that would strengthen a fighter and allow them to be able to do um like uh or, or they would kind of be able to do things that are abnormal like in terms of strength so they would have the strength of an ogre or things of that nature. But he also wanted to add the property of getting a second wind. Kind of like how in, um, what is it? Uh, I don't know if you guys have played Borderlands. When you go down, when you get down, when you get shot too much, and then uh, you kill someone and you get back up. Same kind of concept, only you don't kill anybody. You just down this potion. Well, I guess you kind of down the potion. Haha, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so that's what he was tasked with doing. And he's wanted to do this because, like, the the fighters, you know, just around the continent in the Dungeons and Dragons universe, which is where these characters are based, they, uh, you know, they've been, he, he's been wanting to create a more efficient way to help these fighters learn to fight in a more applicable sense. So he created uh, this little vial thing. Um, that when given to a fighter, create it gives them a second one when they go down, allowing them to continue to fight, but then having, you know, injuries afterwards and not having to deal with them. But he kind of messed up and created this, which is unidentified object thing. Um, so we don't exactly know what this creature is. Um, at least, at least you guys don't. I do. Um, but the whole premise of it is that it's this giant kind of, I don't know if you guys know what a skin golem is in D&D, but a skin golem is this kind of actually really cool uh, character that um, is created through uh, kind of like you would create a golem, only it's created with the body parts of the best adventurers. Um, and then they're used that way. But the skin golem, it's, uh, or this one in particular it was kind of by accident when one of the adventurers took it, it kind of became this grotesque monster. Um, and then it collects the body parts of other adventurers or just weapons and stuff. And it, uh, it hoards them. And, uh, it, you know, it's going around the Dungeons and Dragons universe wreaking havoc. And, um, yeah, it's just it's it's just one of the the wanted posters that I made. Um, originally, it didn't have this dangerous thing on the front. If you see on the screen, it actually doesn't have the layers on the right hand side. That's simply because um, I didn't want to. Uh, I just got the finished image that I saved. I didn't go into the files of the folder. But we will be dissecting another image, which is this one, the uh, one that I made of the Mr. Snuggles poster. Uh, it's a poster, kind of like a magazine, and it's going to be the uh, kind of like the magazine that they pass out um, in the Adventures League to let everyone know about more about this creature. And he's kind of like the poster child for it uh, because he's just, you know, an interesting looking character. And it's 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 hard to not know who he is out of his, because of his shape and his silhouette and just kind of who he is. Um a little bit of backstory on him. So uh, before I hop into uh, lie, into lie, 
Um, so he's actually just a house pet. He's a cat. But um, the professor or the doctor, I should say, Dr. Keeter, uh, gave him the uh, potion to kind of test out like the, the enhancing strength. And it made him into this like a big creature, um, uh, kind of like that cat race in Dungeons and Dragons, but not really. It's it's more of a monstrous creature. Um, it's not it does it doesn't have like a conscious, but the cats always kind of like the doc or the yeah Doctor Keeter, excuse me. And so uh, he he kind of pays attention to him a lot more than he pays attention to everybody else, uh, and that's simply for the fact that in his previous life as a house cat, he really liked Doctor Keeter. Um, cause he, you know, gave him milk, hence the title milk. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, so we're going to move on. This is the creature. I kind of illustrated him or drew him or sketched them really in a way that would make him look like a monster. He's, you know, tore in half some fighter and he's holding a, a, a mage captive there who he's going to like put onto his back. Um, so yeah, he has like swords and in a spell thing on his hip uh, uh, staff. And uh, after I did the initial sketch of this, which I do have, and I might show a little bit later on, um, I put this missing sign because originally they were wanted because the Adventure League thought that they were running around at night, you know, mauling all of these adventures, and you know, even even civilians weren't you know safe from this creature, and so. Yeah, he, he they 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 put a wanted poster out for them, but then they found out because they found out that that it wasn't them because the guards that survived the encounters told them, "Hey, these guys are actually trying to stop this creature, but we are they, we we shouldn't have a wanted poster out for them." So they changed the wanted to missing because they're trying to find them to figure out what the weaknesses of this creature is, which uh, you know, surprisingly enough, this creature the dangerous unnamed creature actually has um, immunity to magic. Um, it's basically treated more as a legendary creature, uh, not for any particular reason, just because I feel like if adventurers were to encounter this and it's more of a horror based, a horror genre based creature, I want it to be scary to mages and to fighters because it's also very strong and it has multiple limbs and these like tendril horn thingies that it can form um, throughout its body that you can see on its back. And, you know, it 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 has weakness, weak points on it that you can shatter, but it just grabs another leg from another adventure off of its back or maybe multiple legs and then just ties them together and keeps fighting. Um, and, uh, you know, it has multiple eyes, too, so it doesn't just use the one on its actual head. It, it's just a horror based creature and so they're trying to find its its true weakness by talking to dr keeter muggins because mr snuggles actually isn't able to speak he's he's a mute cat he just follows the orders by dr keeter and doesn't listen to anyone else but he's really big and he's very very strong so that brings us into Lai sin yi um I used the Chinese name generator because I thought that this character would be really cool in that kind of an atmosphere. I know in the Dungeons and Dragons lore, there aren't really like Chinese and like, you know, different ethnicities of people, at least to my knowledge at the current moment. Feel free to drop a comment down below if there is, and then I can find it a little bit easier. But from my knowledge and what I currently know is that there isn't, but there are people that look slightly differently, whether it be Oriental or what have you. So this character is based off of like a Chinese theme, um, and she's actually taking things that are more Japanese, which is kind of ironic, but or, sorry, not ironic. That sounds very rude. Um it's taking things more of like a, a kung fu -y kind of vibe, but it has more of a ninja aesthetic to it because of the weapon she uses, because the ball and chain that ninjas would use. But uh, I made the end of the um, ninja tool, uh, the sickle and, and the little ball, into like a spike ball. But she's basically going around, she's another character in this universe that's going around stealing things from adventurers, and she's selling them and making profit on them. Um, she's not super dangerous so her category is safe uh under the adventure league so anyone can go after her um but uh this creature 
over here, this beautiful, disgusting th object thing, <laughs> is uh, it, it's the Tear Keter. Um, and uh, I I really like uh, creepy pastas, um, and I enjoy uh, if you didn't know SCPs, uh, now you do. Go ahead and look them up; they're amazing. Um, they're just creatures that uh, this organization called SCP uh, created or found. They're they're like anomalous objects or beings in the universe, and they keep them from the public to keep everyone safe. And they try to destroy them, if not contain them. Um, and so I'm, I like the rating systems because it's safe, um, Euclid, uh, and then um, uh, I'm I, I'm sure there's 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 like three more, but I'm forgetting them off the top of my head. But the very last one is Keter, which are identified as um, un misunderstood objects. So it's it's anything that we don't understand how it's used and is deadly or it can cause like the end of the world, uh, which I titled this because we don't really know what its capabilities are, but um, it has been multiplying because it's been taking over soldiers and then it bec they become similar to this. They're a lot weaker, but it's like a, a zombie virus. I like zombies. So let's hop on over to uh, the wanted poster for Lai Sin Yi. Um, I really had a lot of fun creating her character, mainly because I based her face off of somebody that I know IRL uh, and like their kind of demeanor. Um, and then the weapon I just kind of found online and I thought it was really cool. So I figured, hmm, why not just give it to her? Um, I try, I've been working a lot on presentation stuff in terms of like, how would I show this to people? Because uh, I think it's really cool to present things in a way that people can digest it in their minds. And then here's just the sketch version of that. It looks a little bit different, but usually when you paint things in black and white, you because you're painting, it kind of makes it a little bit different. I didn't want to make this into a drawing video. I just wanted to make it more like a show and tell video of like D&D stuff that I've been making. And and if anyone watching these videos would like to, go ahead and make a character sheet of these. I would love to see what you guys can think up in terms of stats. Um, the 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 personality traits can be whatever you would like uh i i i always find it interesting to see through the perspective of other people how they would interpret a character that i have created i gave you some personality traits for this but i kind of left uh lai sing yi uh open for interpretation but her main qualities is that she's going around stealing things and trying to make profit but more importantly, she's trying to run around stealing things from adventurers because usually they have things that are worth more and are more valuable. We don't know her end goal, so she could be doing something like good and giving to like farmers and stuff, giving money to farmers so that they can produce more, um, you know, fee uh, supplies to sell on, on the market. Or maybe they're not. Maybe they're just stealing it because they want to be rich. You tell me. Comment down below. Make a little, a little, a little bio. I, th I think that'd be fun. Make a little bio. And uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. Uh, I was having fun drawing in the, uh, the thing here at the top, the milk. Let me see if I can grab my stylus, real quick, because I'm trying. I've been using my fingers on my tablet to just kind of maneuver around. Um, but. Uh, yeah, so I, I've been rendering out the face and stuff here. Um, and then I've been rendering out the milk. More recently, I've been rendering out the milk. It has a, not that many layers, I believe. Oh, uh, never mind. Yeah, I've been rendering it using this method that I've been learning from a different artist by the name of Aninos Art. Uh, he's a really cool dude, and he teaches a lot of really good stuff. Uh, and if you haven't already known, you can find his stuff on his... Uh, uh, I want to say his uh, Patreon. There you go. Go ahead and follow his Patreon. It's Aninos Art. I don't think I'm going to put a, a name on the screen, but I probably will drop something in the description down below so you guys can check him out. But I've been using some of the stuff that he teaches in one of his courses or one of his uh, tutorials, uh, and that is focal point and rendering and how to give it that more cinematic-ish feel, uh, but like light to dark in ratios and applying it. Um, I already did a couple other paintings using this method, but I kind of diverted and I ended up using a different method. So this is kind of the first attempt going through it 
a hundred percent the way he kind of described it and i took apart his layers and dissected it to see how he did it and i'm pretty in terms of execution it could be better but it's getting there and i just need to put a little bit more time on his fabric and maybe add some textures render out a couple things here and there uh just to bring more focus here because i feel like overall your eye is drawn to the center, which is good because that's the purpose of this. But in order to make it better, I want to really, really focus in on that silhouette of this character. Maybe change the silhouette on the outer, outer rim a little bit and on these corners here and there. But yeah, uh, I, I also made these into glass and then I put milk in them because I thought it would be cool. Um, <laughs> let me know your thoughts down below. Um, like I said earlier. Uh, smash that like button because the more people that like it, the more people get to see it. And comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Um, don't forget to subscribe because, you know, that's cool too. If you like my content and you want to see more in the future, awesome. Go ahead and smash that like button. Make sure you hit the bell icon because YouTube basically wants you to subscribe twice, which isn't a problem for me, but I know some people really hate hitting the bell icon because then you get like 5,000 notifications on your computer like I do. And it's a pain in the butt to have to sit there and hit the close tab 500 times because you're subscribed to too many people. But it's only if you really want to see my content as soon as it's out. If not, don't fret. Just go ahead and do it normally. It's up to you. I'm not going to pressure you. You guys are cool. I just want to say thank you before I go for clicking on this video and listening to me rant about my Dozen Dragons characters. I just thought it was something that was fun to do and I'm still going to try to continue it in the future and uh, I want to say thank you for watching and uh, as always guys don't forget to stay mystical. Boop.